It's pretty unbelievable that after all these years, we've yet to make a video about the Nine Continent hub motors. Um, Nine Continent first came onto our radar in around 2008, 2009, because they had a direct drive hub motor that was cheaper than the Crystallite motors of the day, but more efficient and more powerful and actually lighter weight. Um, and they achieved that with a larger overall diameter. Now, Nine Continent was making motors for domestic Chinese consumption, so it really lacked a lot of the features that we were looking for for modern bike compatibility. Um, so over time, we were able to get Nine Continent to enhance on that. Uh, their sort of next generation of hub we offered did have a disc mount. Um, it had a thinner lamination, so the motor could spin with less drag when you were just pedaling it. It had compatibility with our stator aid cooling. And, uh, and that was a great set of enhancements, but it still had this annoying side cable exit and the disc rotor mount really didn't fit well with the position of bicycle calipers on modern bikes. Uh, so in the last couple years, uh, we finally have the nine continent motor that answered all of the shortcomings of their previous generations. And these are the FH212 and RH212 motors. Um, so these are front and rear versions of the same basic direct drive motor, but they deviate from their predecessors in that the internal construction is actually using a larger diameter stator still. Um, these motors, uh, and like all the very similar clones of this type, uh, so Muxus motors, Crystallite, H-series motors, they all have 46 magnets around the ring, and they're based on a 205 millimeter rotor diameter. Um, in fact, Nine Continent calls this their FH205. So the FHRH212 motors have a 212 millimeter diameter. So that's slightly bigger in diameter, and the larger the diameter you have, the better your efficiency and torque generating capabilities is with a direct drive hub like this. And in addition to that benefit from the larger diameter, they also managed to get the cable exit coming out of the side of the axle instead of the end, preventing the kind of mashed up damage that we would often see with their earlier generation of end cable that also allows the installation of torque arms and axle hardware on both sides of the axle. You're not having to slide any uh, um, hardware over top of a large connector. Um, these motors still have the thinner laminations, they still have the built-in temperature sensor, the stator aid fill port for motor cooling, and they've been upgraded to use our L10 connector plug standard for a single plug interface that has all the hall sensors, the temperature sensor, uh, and a waterproof connection capability to our modern phase owner and base owner motor controllers. So if you're after a resilient and powerful direct drive hub motor, it's hard to top the latest FH212 RH212 series from Nine Continent. We've worked with Nine Continent and seen their facility evolve to be a state-of-the-art high-volume production space, and they finally have a truly state-of-the-art modern hub motor to show for it.